Okay, welcome to Something to Finish podcast. I am your host, Anissa, and I'm very, very, very happy to be back. I have been gone since January 17th, 2023. So that's been a very long time. And today I am going to let you know what I have been doing and why I took so long of a break from something to finish podcast and you all so yeah we're just gonna um jump right into it just like that because the episode is gonna be I'm really excited for the episode and as you can see you can see me so this is something that I hope to continue on and actually I'm gonna continue on doing I'm gonna be recording myself um, with just visuals, you know what I mean? Um, it's time. It's time to do visuals. So here I am with my small microphone, and I'm going to be having visuals for you all now. So like I said, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back after such a long break, and I am going to now explain what has been going on. But before I get into that, Please, if you haven't already, or if you would just like to give everybody a reminder in a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, why you love Something to Finish Podcast and why you're happy that I am back recording, you can leave a review on, like I said, Apple Podcasts and Spotify app and leave a five-star rating. Thank you so much. So, in the last episode... If you can remember, because it was a long time ago, I literally said it is of vital importance to continue on pursuing your purpose. And literally, I did the opposite of that because right after that episode, something drastic happened to me and it was something that Do you guys have, I'm sure everybody has like a few things on their list that they're like, oh my gosh, if this ever happened to me, like, I don't know what I would do. And one of those things on my list actually happened. And that was my car being repossessed. Don't say it. Don't say it. But I had to say, and I had to admit that that was what happened to me. And mostly to myself, I had to admit to myself because I was in this headspace for so long, ever since I got the car, that like, oh my gosh, like, I have to, I have to prove it to myself and to everybody else, I guess, that I can do this, like, I'm a big girl, (laughs) you know what I mean? So, just the fact that something that I had been dreading and something that I had been stressing myself out and racking my brain day in and day out since I, since I got the car, you know, it was a huge payment, especially for one person. And then, and then I have a family now. So it was just like, <laughs> it's not just one person you have to take care of. You have to take care of multiple people now. So, you know, we were really struggling. And that was one of our biggest, um, that was one of our come on now that was one of our biggest expenses so it was really making me feel smothered it was making me and Adrian my partner have a lot of um arguments and disagreements and you know not just about the car note but about everything else that we had to do in order to make sure that we were meeting the needs of the car note every time that it was due every month and it was just a lot and it really if you if I sat when I sat back and I thought about it after it happened of course I went through all the emotions I was like shocked I was like no this no (laughs) no this can't happen but after that I just had to take a few days to myself and really just like ask myself Anissa did you ask for this? Like, is this happening for a reason? And it's like, yes, like, because, you know, you ask yourself, like, why is this happening to me? Or like, what's going on? (laughs) It's my favorite, but I had to really ask myself, like, 
is this a blessing in disguise? And it really is because, like I said, this was one of our main expenses that we were worrying about. And I was always just like, dang, I just wish I didn't have a car note. And like, what happened? I don't have a car note now. And it didn't happen exactly how, you know, I would think, <clears throat> I would think to relinquish my car note. However, it happened. And now moving forward past the day that it actually happened, we have been able to make plans. We have been able to increase our savings. We've been, you know, even though it negatively will um, affect my credit score, just like even just that, like the position that I'm in right now, being a stay at home mom and not having to be a main source of income any longer, like when I was alone um, and single and taking care of myself. I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to. I'm in a situation where I don't have to work a nine to five and I can stay at home with my daughter and create other streams of income or not. It's whatever I decide. And, you know, I'm lucky enough and um, blessed enough to have a relationship like that in a family dynamic to where I can homeschool my child and to where I don't have to go to a nine to five job or even a part time. And that allows me to really, that allows me to really look and be like, hmm, I really just forgot what I was saying, just to keep it a bill. But basically what I was trying to say is, I don't have to worry about the credit score taking a dunk, you know, as urgently as I would if I was the main income earner, you know, if that makes, does that make sense? Hopefully it does. I'm not the main income earner. So my credit score and like applying for things and, you know, one of our goals is to get uh, into a home. And so, <clears throat> excuse me. And so that's not, that responsibility of my credit, it's not going to fall on me. Ultimately, it's going to be on my partner's credit. So really, it's kind of like, oh, okay, like it's a bad mark, but it over time it can be repaired. And that is what I'm saying. Like I'm already in the position to where if something like that happened, which it did, if something like that were to happen, which it did, it is ultimately going to be okay. Like it's always ultimately going to be okay. However, in this situation, I'm still okay. And I can still, and even so more so reach my goals, you know, my other goals. And since that's happened, we are saving for another car and this car will be a cash car. It won't be a huge car note that is putting a lot of weight and pressure on me and my partner and ultimately on Amali, my daughter, because if me and my partner are stressed out, then she is going to feel those energies. She's going to feel our worry, our stress, our, our, our tiredness, because it's going to make us tired. And it's going to deplete the energy that we do have left after, you know, um, doing anything else that we need to do to give to her. So basically what I'm trying to say is this episode is a testimony to the last episode that was dropped because the last episode that was dropped was literally about the importance of continuing your purpose even if things are getting hard they're seeming like oh my gosh why am I doing this what's going on everything bad is happening um I can't believe that one of my worst fears just happened to me like everything that I'm doing that I think is about to pop off or that I think is worth it I just need to stop now and I need to sulk and it's like no you don't need to do that you need to stay steadfast and strong in the things that you are putting your all into because ultimately if you continue to focus on those things which make you happy which make you feel fulfilled just by acting those things out and just by staying strong in those things and trusting in yourself it's like I went and I listened to the last episode before I sat down and recorded this one I was like so I didn't take this long break and in the last episode that I dropped, I literally, I could have listened to that as soon as uh, my car was repossessed and been like, 
don't stop, just keep going. And he said, don't stop recording. And, but I didn't. And that, like I was about to say, the reason why I said all this again is because most of the time we have the answer for ourselves. Like if I would have just took my own advice, if I would have just listened to myself, if I would have just slowed down and not looked at the situation for what it appeared to be, but looked at the situation from a place of, you know, gratitude, looked at the situation from a place of um, curiosity, you know, just being curious. Hmm. I know this might seem like a bad thing that's happening right now. However, I'm still alive. I still have somewhere to live. I'm, I have food. I have, you know, everything I need. But that is one thing that I do not have anymore. And was it really serving me fully? Was it really, I guess it served its purpose in the time that I did have it. However, I have to be honest with myself and, and say, no, that car along with the car note added to it. And, you know, then anything else mechanical that could go wrong with a vehicle was not serving me. And, yeah. So I just have to, and we all have to remind ourselves that things are going to come up. However, our purpose for being here on earth it is never going to fade away, no matter how bad things get, <clears throat> excuse me, and no matter how good things are, our purpose is not going to fade away. So just because something pops up or just because someone or something happens that is not aligned with the way that you view things happening for you, please take the time to be curious about the outcomes that you're receiving like, take the time to think, hmm, like, how can I learn from this? Like, how can I, how can I ascend from my thinking of, oh my goodness, I'm a victim of what just happened? Like, I'm not a victim. I'm really, what am I? I'm just the one, all right? <laughs> Excuse me, we are all the one. And I just, I just, I'm very grateful and very blessed to have had the ability and the mindset at the time to stop and repair what my brain was about to do to the, to what that situation, you know, could have did to me. Like I could have spiraled, you know, I, that was one of my biggest fears, guys. Like I could have spiraled. So I'm just very grateful that I have access to information and resources and um, different ways of challenging your brain on viewing things that are happening around you. Um, so, yes, um, I have a really good card that I pulled today. And if you remember or if you don't remember, this is oh, <laughs> this is the notes from the universe on abundance by mike dooley 60 card deck and the one that i pulled out today i thought was really fitting and i mean that's just how the universe works it conspires with us so that we can get what we need and what we want so yeah i'm gonna read it and it is to find out how much you've truly been blessed with in terms of love time, energy, talent, joy, abundance, confidence, intelligence, wit, or any other quality, substance, or dis or dispensation, give of it. Then you'll know what boundless really means. Basically, if you have a gift, share it. If you have a gift, share it and you will see how blessed you really are, how boundless your blessings and your existence on this earth is. So I think that was a perfect way to end. And I have just one question for you. And remember this question, you can email me at something to finish pod at gmail.com and let me know your answer. So 
your in- so the question is are you willing to sacrifice what once served you in order to make room for what you are currently manifesting are you <laughs> so you can answer that question as something to finish pod at gmail.com and don't forget to leave a five star rating on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Let me know what you've been up to since I've been gone. Let me know what you want to hear now that I'm back. Let me know if you want to be on the podcast. I'm open to that. And yes, I'm very grateful to have an audience. I'm very grateful to have a platform to build for a community to come and learn with me while I learn myself. <laughs> so yes. Um I'm glad to be able to also record a video as well. This is really cool. This is like my first is this my first time doing this? I don't think this is my first time doing this. It's my first time doing this by myself. You know, solo. So I'm proud of myself and you guys go out there and do something that you put to the side too because I was just like thinking about this every day and I'm like no no not putting this to the side I got to get back to my purpose so hope everybody has a great week it's Sunday right now so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here enjoy the rest of my weekend with my family and peace